Things can get confusing when celebrities share the same name. Several celebrities try to distinguish identical names by adding a middle initial to the existing one, while others try to get a unique stage name. A famous actor dubbed the King of Cool shares his name with another Oscar-winning director. Want to know who? Well, we've got you covered in this video. Per the U.S. Census Bureau, there are over 150,000 last names and at least 5,100 first names that are common in America. So it stands to reason there would be several identical combinations of both first and last name. The most common example is John Smith. Not surprising, as almost 2.5 million Smiths have been recorded during the 2010 census. Estimates also suggest there are more than 48,000 John Smiths in the U.S. The figure is more than what's recorded for any other name. Interestingly, there are more than 1,000 James Bonds. So it's safe to say these can be included in the list of names that are not going extinct anytime soon. Interestingly, in the UK, John Smith secures the third position, after the number one taken by David Smith and number two, David Jones. All over history, some eminent personalities have also had identical names. Those who've studied history and art will especially know there were two famous Francis Bacons. Movie buffs know very well there's a groundbreaking director by the name of Steve McQueen and also a well-known actor with the same moniker. The latter was the star of some of the best hit movies of the 60s and 70s. We've gathered some salient examples, including notable figures with identical names, American and British, sometimes from different eras and sometimes from the same. James Bond III James Bond III shares a name with the famous fictional spy, but this one is real and began acting as a child in the 70s. He made notable appearances in Wonder Woman, The Waltons, and The Love Boat. In 1988, he also took part in School Days, the Spike Lee classic. Two years later, he wrote, produced, directed, and also starred in a low-budget horror film titled Death by Temptation. Released in 1990, it featured American actor-producer Samuel L. Jackson in one of his first starring roles. Keith Richards Unlike the English musician and guitarist Keith Richards of the Rolling Stones, this actor, Keith Richards, was born in 1915 in Pennsylvania. He had started acting in small, uncredited parts during the later years of the 30s. He played several small roles in The Ten Commandments, the biblical epic released in 1956. The majority of his later work was in TV westerns like Bonanza, Gunsmoke, and The Wagon Train. He stopped acting in 1964 and, coincidentally, the same year the Rolling Stones released their first album. Harry Carey Jr. Harry Carey Jr. and Harry Carey were both actors, and they share a name spelled slightly differently from that of legendary sportscaster Harry Carey. Harry Carey Sr. appeared mostly in silent films, unlike Harry Carey Jr., who had roles in Mannix, Perry Mason, and Knight Rider. Like several other actors during his time, Harry Carey Jr. appeared in other TV westerns and at least nine John Wayne movies. Leif Erikson Born in 1911 as William Wycliffe Anderson, Leif Erikson chose the name of Leif Erikson with a slight twist as a stage name. Leif Erikson was a 10th century Norse explorer. The actor had begun his career in the 30s with some small and rewarding roles in several films. In 1954, he starred as Glover in On the Waterfront, a Marlon Brando classic. During the 50s and 60s, he appeared in several shows and played Big John Cannon in the series The High Chaparral during 67 to 71. Michael Fox Unlike Keith Richards, Michael J. Fox and Michael Fox held overlapping careers. The older Michael Fox is mainly the reason why the Back to the Future hero was compelled to add an initial in the middle. There's a rule that no two or more actors within the Screen Actors Guild can be registered with the same name. Michael Fox had started acting during the 50s. He made a significant appearance in three episodes of The Twilight Zone. He also played a few small roles in comedies like Young Frankenstein and The Longest Yard. He continued acting through the mid-90s. Steve McQueen While one Steve McQueen is known to many as the classic action star of films like Bullet and The Great Escape, another has become famous over recent years for his fascinating work mainly behind the camera. British filmmaker Steve McQueen directed 12 Years a Slave, an Oscar-winning drama, and Widows, an action thriller released in 2018. This Steve McQueen should be referred to as Sir Steve McQueen, as he was knighted during the 2020 New Year Honors for his contribution to the world of films. The same year witnessed McQueen being rewarded by the Royal Photographic Society with the Award for Cinematic Production. John Locke Bearing just one letter H, John Locke shares his name with renowned John Locke, the 17th century philosopher. John, without an H, began acting in the 50s, 
He starred as Officer Garvey in about five episodes of Highway Patrol. As we discuss famous names, it's worth mentioning that Locke played Sam Elliott, a character in an episode of Perry Mason in 1958. In the 60s, the actor appeared in several episodes of The Virginian, Wagon Train, and later on was also in Gunsmoke, The Mary Tyler Moore Show, The Waltons, and Land of the Lost. James Brown Sharing his name with the exemplary funk and soul singer and actor, James Brown first made his appearance in some 1940 films. He also starred in A Star is Born alongside James Mason and Judy Garland in 1954. He acted in several TV shows, including The Virginian, The Alfred Hitchcock Hour, and Route 66. He completed his ultimate role in the 80s as Harry McSween, a detective in Dallas, which was a classic drama. Billy Curtis Billy Curtis shared his name with Bill Curtis, the famous broadcaster. He started acting in the 30s, most famously in The Wizard of Oz. In 1938, he led a Western musical, The Terror of Tiny Town, with an all-little person cast. Later, he made appearances in TV shows like The Beverly Hillbillies, Get Smart, Gunsmoke, and Batman, to name a few. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure you like it and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And stick around for even more famous doppelgangers. Tom Holland Tom Holland shares his name with the young actor who plays the role of Spider-Man in the most recent Avengers. The older Holland used the name Tom Fielding during years of his early acting. He appeared alongside Holly Mascot and George Takai in the hippie drama titled Josie's Castle, released in 1971. He also appeared in shows like The Incredible Hulk and 77 Sunset Strip. But Holland's most notable work remains in directing. He helmed Fright Night, released in 1985, and Child's Play, released in 1988. He also directed three memorable episodes of Tales from the Crypt and The Temp and Thinner, a 90s film, among several others. Sam Shepard Sam Shepard was a well-known American actor, playwright, and director. He published several short stories, essays, and memoirs. His plays won many awards, including Pulitzer Prize in Drama for Buried Child in 1979. Although Sam Shepard played the role of Chuck Yeager, a legendary test pilot in the movie The Right Stuff, the actor reportedly spoke about his aversion to flying. Life was not very kind to Sam Shepard, a physician from Ohio, who was found guilty of murdering his wife, who was pregnant at the time. This was in 1954. After a sensational trial, the whole incident drew a great deal of media attention. The media circus around the trial resembled the one surrounding O.J. Simpson. But after a decade in prison, Shepard was retried and acquitted. A few years later, he made his debut as a professional wrestler, The Killer. Peter Sellers Another classic TV actor who shares a famous name is Peter Sellers. He's a British comedic actor and star of the famous Pink Panther movies. He played several notable roles, including the title role in Dr. Strangelove. The equally oddball director with the same name is Peter Sellers, the American director of opera and theater known for his outstanding casting and staging of Mozart's Don Giovanni as a blaxploitation movie. By chance or by choice, many directors, actors, and other celebrities share their names with yet other famous individuals. Have you ever been in a conversation talking about one of them? but the other person thought you were talking about the other? Let us know in the comments section below. Or if you have other examples of famous people who share the same name, let us know. And before you move on, please take a moment to like this video, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on another video.